So I was thinking about the fantastic company Google, and I was trying to understand how the company worked, um, because something struck me about how they must work, which I didn't appreciate before, because um, the company handles absolutely awesome amounts of data on queries and the, how they handle the delivery of information, the searching, the indexing of data is absolutely phenomenal how that business operates. And so I was thinking about it and wondering how it could be possible for them to do what they do because they're basically indexing, cataloging the entire knowledge of humankind. And it seems impossible basically for them to operate in the way they do but um the service is there and the technology works and you find what you're looking for so um they're doing something right so um i was wondering how they could possibly do it because it seems on first glance that it's impossible to manage all of that data in the way they do but I'm thinking, I was thinking wrong. I was thinking wrongly, rather. I didn't conceptualize what they're doing the right way. I have a different idea now of how they must work. And I'm thinking that's correct. Um, of course, I don't know, but it's just what I'm thinking about how they must work. And um, what it is, is... Um, I'm trying to understand the Google philosophy for managing data. And I'm, I was, it wasn't idle wondering, I suppose, but I'm still interested in how they manage the billions of terabytes of data they must have to manage. And also the billions of queries and it handles so much data every day, so many queries every day. It just defies belief of how they do it. So um, I do think I was thinking of how their system worked in the wrong way. I was thinking about how they operated incorrectly. Um, I'm just reading here, forgive me. Um, I'm thinking that I was incorrect in how I envisaged, how I conceived how they worked. I was thinking of X, Y, and Z different techniques that they could be doing. And then I got kind of overwhelmed with the scenarios that were arising. And I realized that I was wrong in how I was trying to conceptualize how Google operates. My problem, I'm thinking, is that I was trying to imagine all possibilities as if that could be possible. I then saw that I didn't have to conceive of everything that they might have to manage. I'm thinking that maybe they had a different perspective on managing the awesome amount of user demand and their data needs. I'm thinking that maybe they took the issue of data management differently. They look at it differently. Maybe they can see themselves as being like a human being. Yes, you did that correctly. I'm thinking that Google as a company see themselves as if they were a human being. So they, as if they operate in the same way as a human being. <sighs> I mean, that maybe they have a philosophy that is flexible in handling the unknowable data demand that they have to deal with. That's how we humans operate in the world after all. We don't know everything and we can't do everything. But the key thing is that we can learn what we need to know and we can learn what we need to do. So we have a kind of ultimate flexibility. So we're kind of ultimately flexible 
in how we interact with the world. And I'm thinking that's surely how Google works. Of course, I, I can't know how they work, but I'm thinking that that philosophy, that perspective, is surely the way that they manage the workload that they have. They don't have to know what people might search for ahead of time. They just respond as necessary to what comes at them. And that's the way the, a human handles new requirements before us. This concept is fascinating to me because it basically explains everything. It explains everything I can think of about what they do and how they do it. Of course, it's all guesswork. But I'm thinking that Google as a company is basically a huge human being with the same attitude and the same abilities to learn new things and do new things. So um, I think Google are basically a human being made large.